Hello there everybody, my name is GameNut321 and I'm going to be showing you how to draw a professional version of this animatronic from the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 teaser trailer. You can call this the hybrid, you can call this Golden Bonnie, you can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it the hybrid or just the animatronic or whatever comes out of my mouth, I don't care. So what we're going to do is go up to File, New, and we're going to change this preset to Custom, which is down here. Now we're going to change the width to 1280 and we're going to change the height to 720 but instead of doing 720 I'm going to do 721 because I like to be a little bit different compared to other YouTubers now we're going to go to 92 as the resolution and we're going to click OK now that we clicked OK we have to change one more setting what I'm going to do is change this gray to RGB or red green blue because I don't want to color in gray so what we're going to do is go down to edit covert to profile and we're going to change this to, uh, I don't know, uh, RGB. Uh, this one looks good right here. And then we're going to change this to Perceptually Little. And we're going to click OK. Now this changed to RGB, and now we can actually color in an actual color. Or, you know, something like blue or green or red or orange. So what we're going to do is go down to um, this paintbrush tool. But before we paint, we're going to need to get this image and then our canvas to line up side by side. So what we're going to do is go up to View or actually window, my bad. We're going to go up to arrange and we're going to do to two up vertical. Now both of our images are actually side by side. This is very handy if you want to make professional drawings. Now what we're going to do here is select the paintbrush tool, go up to here to this drop box and select a nice brush. We're going to select uh, something like this one right here and we're going to click off screen and see so how we have this nice handy paintbrush over here. When we paint, it actually shows us where we're actually painting, like the direction and stuff like that. It's actually kind of cool. We can see that we actually have a little bit of a flare effect. So we're going to use that to our advantage. So this animatronic over here seems to have an oval shaped like head. So what we're going to do is give this animatronic an oval shaped head over here. So we're going to draw this very professional like and give him an oval shaped head just like this one. Now see how see how detailed this oval shape is? Uh, this is the best I can do right here, so please bear with me, but this is a very professional drawing of this animatronic right here. So what we're going to do is add some eyes. He, he tends to have like eye sockets, so what we're going to do is make a circle right here. And he has an eyeball, so we're going to add an eyeball in here. And he has some pupils, so we're going to add like a little bit of a circle right here. And since the inside of his eye is white, we're just going to leave it like this, okay? Now, here's a handy little trick I like to call copy and paste. We're going to go over here and then select this lasso tool. We're going to go in a circle like this. So make a good circle around this, this eyeball right here. So what we're going to do is push Control and then C and then Control V. This will paste the eye and you can move it over like this. And now we have an exact replica of this eye right here. And since this eye, the white around it kind of overlaps, I'm going to use Control T and scale it down just a little bit so it kind of fits over this right side. And see how that actually fits nicely? That's a lot more better now. So, um, you know what? On this picture over here, he kind of looks at you, not to the left. So we're going to do Control T. And we're going to move his eye this way, and it kind of looks like he's looking at you a little bit. Kind of funny, huh? So, what we, what next we're going to draw over here is some ears. So, it looks like he has some type of ears, almost like Bonnie, sort of. So, what we're going to do is go back to our paintbrush tool and draw a very handy-looking type of ear. And it looks like it kind of shortens. Uh, let me use Control-Z to go back, because I don't like the shape. Let's go up here, stop up here, and then kind of curve around the side down over to this side over here now let me like move this over so you guys can see better now we actually have an ear and since like this ear kind of has like an indent we're going ahead and get ahead of the and draw this right here to make it give it like a 3d type of effect so we're gonna go over to the same side over here <laughs> and <laughs> draw another ear and it looks like his ear goes off screen a little bit that's fine because our paintbrush is going to go off screen and we're going to draw this way a little bit and now we actually have both ears on this exact replica drawing of the hybrid from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So we're going to give this a little bit more perspective at another line right here. Now we'll get to color here in a minute, but I'm just showing you how to draw him, like get the outline good. So what we're going to do here is draw like a little type of a Joker smile from Batman the Dark Knight or whatever that movie is. So what we're going to do is go to them from corner to corner and kind of make like a little U shape. So let's go ahead and make a U shape like this. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side because it seems he has a chin right here. So we're going to leave that bottom part alone and we're going to color that in later. 
And now we actually have his little smile thing going. Okay, so now let's go ahead and draw the teeth in. And it looks like he has about four teeth up top, so we'll go ahead and draw the teeth. Now, it doesn't matter how we draw the teeth, it's just as long as you get the teeth in there, because this animatronic is really effed up. So now that we have the teeth drawn in there, they look kind of split up to me. I would fix them myself, but just to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm not going to mess with this right here. Now on the bottom row right here, it seems he has like a, a set of uh, five to eight teeth. So we're going to go ahead and draw some teeth in here. Now it doesn't matter what shape they are because this animatronic is uh, very beat up. So it doesn't really matter. Just put some teeth in there because this is a very, very professional drawing right here of the hybrid from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Now that we actually have him painted, Let's go ahead and draw his little nose. It looks like his nose is kind of bent up. So let's go ahead and make a very abstract looking type of nose. Uh, that looks about good right there. That, that looks just like the animatronic right here. Okay, now we're going to get to the really fun part. We should color him in. That should be a lot funner, right? So what we're going to do is click over here to this picture right here. And here's a handy trick I like to call the alt and press the left mouse click button or whatever the name of it is called we're going to click um actually we have to go click on the paintbrush tool now we have to hold alt and we're going to click somewhere on his head and see how that color up top changes we're going to select um let's say his forehead that's a good color right so now we're going to go back over here and click on the paint bucket tool and we're going to click anywhere on his face now if we click on his face it's going to color that part in oh well uh, it seems I made a mistake somewhere. Let me actually go back by pressing Control, Alt, and Z. And it seems that there is um, maybe some slight errors. Uh, oh, I know what I have wrong. My layers are messed up. Let me actually go ahead, select both of these layers, right click, and merge layers right here. Now we can actually paint inside of his head. See how it paints inside of his head? See, that's what I messed up right there. This is layers right here, but we're not going to go over layers. We're going to go over how to actually color in this animatronic. And it looks like he has other areas in his head that are actually this color. So let's go ahead and paint his chin. Um, let's go ahead and paint his ears and this other one too. Now, these are going to leave... Um, I'm going to make these a darker color just to add a little bit of a 3D effect. So what we're going to do is go over here and select a darker color. And then we're going <laughs> to... And we're going to paint these in right here to give it that little 3D effect. Now, it looks like his eyes are kind of that same color too. So let's go ahead and paint in his eyes. And it looks like the inside of his eyelids are black. So let's go ahead and change this color to black. And we're going to color these in. And it looks like his nose is the same. So what we're going to do is hold Alt. And we're going to click on his eyes to select that same color. And then click on his nose. And we should have the same color. Now it looks like inside of his mouth is black. Judging by this picture. <laughs> so what we're going to do is select the black. And we're going to click inside of his mouth. Like this. And you want to make sure you're very precise with this. Because you don't want to color the whole page. Or anything like this. Like accidentally click his skin. And then it changes it into black. But this looks like an exact replica of the animatronic right here. But there's one thing missing. We need to paint in his teeth. So let's go ahead and select. Uh, let's, uh, let's go over here. Um, let's go ahead and select his teeth with this alt tool. And let's go back over here. And start to paint in his teeth. Now his teeth are really nasty looking. So it doesn't matter which color you do. As long as it's a nasty looking color. Like poop brown. Or a baby barf green. Or whatever color you want to pick. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. But it looks like we have an actual really good drawing of this animatronic. <laughs> I think this is very professional like. I think I can enter this in a contest. And win some YouTube money. I mean um, uh, trophies and prizes. And things like that. So I can share them with my family. So uh, yes guys. Uh, this is how you professionally draw. The hybrid animatronic from Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So so um, please like the video and share it so I can get some YouTube money. I mean, grow my channel for my lovely subscribers here. Um, there's there's nothing really much else I have to say. So um, uh, if you want me to do another video, I could do uh, how to draw Bonnie very professionally, how to draw Foxy very professionally. Uh, just just leave a comment down below. So you know, just 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 something. But um, nothing else I gotta say. Just just I don't know. Watch this video right here. I made a really cool Gary's mod video. I, I spent like three seconds seconds on it times 800 million so yeah uh, I spent really spent a lot of time on it so please watch it uh, just just click here if you're on a computer but you know if you're on a crappy tablet or a phone just go down to the description and click on the link or something I don't know how that works but um just just, just yeah just, just click on the video just watch it or something or just comment or something you know <laughs>